Dapitan, officially the city of Dapitan, Subanan, Gembagal G. Benwa Dapitan, Bagbenwa Dapitan, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Dapitan, Chavacano, Ciudad de Dapitan, or simply referred to as Dapitan City, is a third class city in the province of Zamboanga del Norte, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 82,418 people. It is historically significant as the place where Jose Rizal was exiled by the Spaniards for his revolutionary activities. He is considered a national hero, and this is known as the Shrine City in the Philippines. The city is also home to Gloria's Fantasyland, the first amusement park in Mindanao. History The beginnings of the settlement now known as the city of Dapitan predates the arrival of the Spanish conquistadores on the island of Mindanao. The Subanans, a nomadic tribe of Indo-Malayan stock, were the earliest known settlers who lived along river banks or Suba, from which word they received their present tribal identity as Subanan. However, it is believed that the timid Subanans were forced to move further into the hinterlands of the Zamboanga Peninsula out of fear that pirates may seek shelter during foul weather in the natural harbors of Dapitan's irregular coastlines. They are now mainly found in the mountainous areas of Zamboanga del Sur and Misamis Occidental. In 1564, Datu Pagbuaya of the Kadatuan of Dapitan, formerly located in present-day Tagbalaran of Bohol, arrived in Mindanao after the Kadatuan of Dapitan in Bohol was destroyed by the Sultanate of Ternate in 1563. Datu Pagbuaya re-established the Kadatuan of Dapitan in Mindanao afterwards. When the Spanish arrived, Datu Manuch was the ruler of the Kadatuan. The Spanish allied with Datu Manuch, and incorporated the Kadatuan into the Spanish Empire. Early cartographers of the Philippines showed Dapitan's location in their maps of Mindanao using a variety of names by which they had known the settlement, such as Dapito, in Carius's map of 1598, Dapite, in Dudley's map of 1646, Dapito, in Sanson's map of 1652, and Dapitan, in Mall's map of the East Indies of 1729 and in Mario Velarde's map of 1734. There are two versions of how Dapitan got its name. The first from an account attributed to Fr. Urdaneta, infers that the name evolved from the original reference to it as Dequepitan, which later became Dakpitan, and finally Dapitan, to make it easier to pronounce. The second version, which is more widely accepted according to folklore, says that the name derives from the Cebuano word, Dapit, which means, to invite. Local tradition tells of the early settlers from Panglao in Bohol who were invited over by Datu Pagwaya, the acknowledged founder of Dapitan, to join him in docking Yuta, or literally the big land that is Mindanao. The invitation or Pag de Pit that he extended to Boholanos is said to be how Dapitan got its name. Various historical accounts also indicate that trading voyages and commercial relations existed with the nascent but thriving settlement of Dapitan. This interaction with traders from the different cultures in the region may have had some influence on the cultural evolution of Dapitan itself. The influence of the Spaniards, the Americans, the Japanese, and the different Visayan ethnolinguistic groups that settled here could not also be discounted in their contributions toward the evolution and emergence of a distinctly Dapitanan culture. Cityhood on June 22, 1963, President Diosdado Macapagal signed R.A. 3811 which converted Dapitan into a chartered city. It is officially renowned as the Shrine City of the Philippines. The earliest settlers of Dapitan were the Subanans, a nomadic tribe of Indonesian stock known to have settled and lived along the banks of the river or Suba out of which their present-day tribal identity originated. Demographics Barangays Dapitan City is politically subdivided into 50 barangays. In 1955, the sitios of Sipaloc, Barcelona, and Patungan were converted into barrios. Tagualon Tagualon is home to the Dakak Park and Beach Resort. It is a producer of coconut and agar, based on seaweed, as well as a fishing port. 
The pier in Tagualan is a secondary, alternate port to the main passenger, cargo port in Dapitan City. Additionally, during severe storms at sea, ferries and other ships find shelter in the Tagualan Cove. One can find the Mount Lalab overlooking the islets of Silinog and part of Balyanga. Talisay Talisay is a seaside barangay where Jose Rizal spent four years in exile. A park and shrine honoring the Philippine national hero can be found in the Jose Rizal Memorial Protected Landscape, a protected area declared in 2000, located in the old Rizal farm site in the barangay. Places of interest Liwasan ng Dapitan, Dapitan City Plaza Dapitan City Plaza, Liwasan ng Dapitan, also known as the City Square is the plaza which Dr. Jose P. Rizal beautified and developed during his exile. With the assistance of Spanish politico-military governor of Dapitan, Governor Ricardo Carnicero, Rizal made the Dapitan City Plaza comparable to the ones he saw in Europe. It has an area of 1, 1, hectare more or less. This was developed by Dr. Jose P. Rizal with the help of Governor Ricardo Carnicero, a politico-military of Dapitan City. Punto del Desembarco de Rizal The site where Rizal disembarked from the steamer Cebu in 1565 with the arrival of Miguel López de Legazpi. A 20-foot cross was erected to symbolize the propagation of Christianity in the locality of Dapitan. Rizal Park and Shrine This is a major historical landmark of Dapitan City. In August 1892, Dr. Jose P. Rizal together with Governor Carnicero and Francisco Equaler, a Spaniard living in Dipolig, luckily won a lotto bet which financially enabled Dr. Rizal to buy a 10 hectares piece of land from Lucia Pagbangon. In March 1893, Rizal then transferred to this place in Barangay Talisay. Later on, his mother Doña Teodora Alonso, his sisters, and some relatives from Calamba, Laguna came and lived with him in Talisay until 1896. The National Historical Commission of the Philippines effected Republic Act No. 4363 which was approved on June 19, 1965. The Rizal Shrine was then declared as one of the national shrines through Presidential Decree No. 105 issued by then-President Ferdinand E. Marcos on January 24, 1973, Casa Real Dr. Jose P. Rizal stayed here in Casa Real with Governor Ricardo Carnicero from his arrival until he moved to Rizal Shrine at Barangay Talisay in March 1893. The looks of Casa Real is the same as the old city hall with bamboo on each side, the upper portion is made up of woods. A replica of Casa Real will soon rise near its marker, Street. James the Greater Church This church was built in 1871 in honor of St. James the Greater, Dapita. S. Patron Saint. The design of the interior walls is more or less one meter thick and still original except for the furnishing. The altar and the interior hain undergone several renovations. Inside is a historical spot where Dr. Jose P. Rizal, Philippines' national hero, stood while hearing Mass every Sunday. At the mezzanine is the priceless heritage organ that bears a year in the making, year 1827 at the choir loft. It was brought to Dapitan by the Augustinian Recollect Fathers. A German made with European pipes. It is a manual pipe organ. Cata de Dapitan, Established in 1761, the fort was made to monitor the waters of northern Zamboanga. The fort was made on top of the sacred Ilahan Hill. Currently, the fort is in dire need of conservation. Festivals Dapitan City has launched a diversified fiesta celebration of its patron Saint James or Senor Santiago for the locals through a three-in-one affair, combining religious, cultural and sports events in its Kinabeo Festival 2009. The Kinabeo Festival kicks off July 16 and culminates on July 31 with various events taking place within the Shrine City of the Philippines. Transportation C. Dapitan is served by the port of Pulauan in Barangay San Vicente, albeit ferry schedules often list the destination as Port of Dipolig, a neighboring city. 
There are daily ferries from to Dumaguete and from to Cebu City. International relations Twin towns Sister cities Dapitan is twinned with Litimaris, Czech Republic Zamboanga City, Philippines Dipolog City, Philippines References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code